Love and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Glen Isla. Welcome back to the uh, challenge map here between myself and Thomas uh, McConsole. Uh, currently working on fertilizing the new field here we purchased last episode. We're going to put lime on it and we're going to put fertilizer back on it here. So we're going to go grab the lime spreader here a minute. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be back with the fertilizer spreader. Needs lime and fertilizer. Also needs to be plowed. Of course, we'll have to wait till. The uh, field is harvested before we plow it, or ideally we want to, because, I mean, it's already planted, so why plow over planted crops? And we'll kind of head back to our uh, storage area here. Uh, basically, all I've been doing for now is just kind of parking our equipment over on this end of the field here. we got kind of a nice, large, grassy area over here. As uh, somebody had suggested a while back, I should plow the field larger on that end uh, once we get a nice area to... Uh, put our equipment I probably will but at least uh, for now this uh, this works pretty good over here you know, unlike um, a console here we don't have any uh, fancy sheds yet to uh, park our equipment in kind of like the old time farmers we just uh, park it under a tree here along something you know okay lime spreader let's grab that uh, those are pellets of fertilizer I believe sitting behind there by the way nope there we go. Uh, also, between episodes, I did go ahead and sell that one trailer I had of logs there. Uh, I'm not even sure how much we made off and didn't really pay attention. There's only, what, three, four, four trees in there, I think it was. So it didn't make a whole lot off that. I uh, went ahead and ground out. Dude, did I miss a stump there? Is that a piece? I think I got most of the stumps ground out here. I ground out all the stumps in that area, took care of all of that. Uh, also been continuing to work on harvesting uh, sunflowers here, uh, which has brought me to the realization we need a better combine. Because that class combine, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. If it's the header's fault... Oh, wait, no, it's a John Deere header. can't be the header's fault. Blame the combine. Must be the combine's fault then. But uh, that combine does not work with a row crop header for some reason. Keep in mind, that is an in-game header. Though so very doubtful that any of the other in-game headers would work with it. I suppose we could try that, but uh, I very much doubt it. And it also only seems to do it in the one direction, which further, uh, to me, reinforces the fact that it's probably something to do with the combine. Uh, if you remember when we first started here, I don't remember what crop we had on. Was it 19 or 18? I forget what field it was here. One of these two fields. Not sure what crop was on it. Uh, but we had problems with the combine stopping on the one end of the field. And we kind of, well, maybe it's something to do with the hill. And it could very well have been something to do with the hill. But if you pay attention to this combine, this field is not that hilly on this end. And he is stopping. He has stopped every single time he's gone to turn around on this end of the field. Just this end. Because, uh, yeah, after last episode, I was looking. It's like, boy, that, it seems like that class combine should be full on sunflowers by now been harvesting for quite a while and uh yeah if he had been harvesting he probably would have been full but the problem was he wasn't harvesting he quit actually you know what i haven't even paid attention to what he's actually doing over here so maybe we'll just uh, sit and watch him here but he goes to turn around he lines up and then he's yeah quits hired worker blocked by an object i have his own shadow i'm not sure what he's being blocked by but puts the header down uh, he is moving a little bit. It's, he's not even trying, basically. Yep. Help proceed block by an object. Which is absolute junk here, because you can see if I go to harvest myself, fine. Nothing wrong here. Rehire him. He's good to go. So I don't know what is causing that. Why are you missing so much on this end here, buddy? Ow. Guess he figures he doesn't have enough room to turn around there or something. Oh, well. I guess we'll have to uh, get that a little bit ourselves. Uh, if we get to it here this episode, I'd like to uh, plow these fields together here. I'm going to have to probably be a little bit careful about it because I don't want to wreck the crops that are currently on it. But, yeah, I want to plow this field together with 22 and 23, make one big field. And, of course, once we can afford 24 here as well, which I was planning on that being my next purchase. Maybe we should look at a combine purchase instead. Uh, what do I have for combines here? Yeah, we got some, ooh, uh, 70 series, uh, yeah, ooh, 70 series, that looks, uh, that looks kind of nice. Uh, not cheap, mind you. Wow, that's also some spread apart tires. Some 520 row crop duels. 
520 row crop set. What's the difference here? 520 row crop duels. Ah, smaller rear tire on that one. Okay. 650 duels. So yeah, three different tire options. I might have to look into trying that combine at some point, maybe. Uh, what else do I have? Of course, got the 790, the 560, this S700. That's about all I have for modded combines. Of course, got the Kloss Lexion 530. Thought I had a bigger... Uh, maybe I don't have it active. I thought I had a 780 as well, Kloss Lexion, but... I have to maybe uh, go combine mod shopping here as well. Just to see if there's any uh, good mods out there for combines. Okay, let's uh, finish up this end of the field here a little bit. I'd rather not leave that much behind if we can. And I noticed while I have the lime spreader here, uh, number 20, was it? I think number 20 needed to be limed as well. Yes, yeah, number 20 needed to be limed. Turn that, oh, not that one. Let's uh, turn that back on. There we go. Uh, you know what, let me just turn plowing off here for the moment. Uh, so yeah, I can re redo the fertilizer in 23 here now that I have lime on it. We'll uh, come back with the fertilizer here in a moment. Oh, he has a full grain tank. He is finally full. Uh, about time there, pal. So yes, uh, note south of that combine, everyone. You know, stick with the tried and true. John Deere all the way, right? Of course, uh, I'm a console over on his uh, map. He's uh, playing with him. Uh, Juana Deer contraptions, rubbish junk. So uh, just by the way, don't forget to, uh, well, actually, uh, uh, you've been warned. Uh, make sure you have your hazmat suits uh, handy. And, um, yeah, go visit uh, Thomas McConsell's channel there. See what kind of uh, trouble he's getting into there with his uh, Joanna Deers. I suspect it should be all kinds of trouble with those. Uh, let's see what's here. You are full. Let's grab the tractor here. Got the 4955 on Josk and Tipper here. And a very European-style tractor from the looks of it here. We got some nice... Uh, Suitcase weights up front, uh, dual row crop tires here, some weights in between. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't look very European, does it? Right. Oh, yeah, my camera's messed up again, by the way, for those of you wondering. Uh, annoying. I mentioned that last episode. I haven't figured out what is causing that yet. Uh, I don't know if that's a gl game glitch or we getting some sort of mod conflict that's causing it. I don't really know, but it's definitely a super annoying. Got something to do when you uh, get the chainsaw out. And I don't know if just getting the chainsaw out by itself does it. Or in the process of cutting the logs does it. I, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, if anybody else has experienced that, be sure to uh, let me know. If you happen to know what is causing that. That is uh, definitely a new uh, problem I can't say that I've uh, seen before. Uh, definitely not a very welcome problem either, for that matter. Uh, let's see what's there. Nope. Can't. Don't think I can quite squeeze through the hedge there. i got to go back this way just a little bit here. It's a little bit uh, steep, but uh, a lot easier than trying to uh, actually squeeze through the gates on the hedges, if you ask me. Uh, let's see, close, close course play there. We don't need it. Uh, by the way, with course play, as I've uh, discovered on my Ravenport series, if you switch course play to control and delete, it seems to be a little iffy on whether you'll be able to open it again. So uh, you, if you do that, you'll have to reset your tractor so it resets the course play controls. Uh, I'm not sure what's causing that either. If maybe was it was the vehicle control, I think it was vehicle control add-on uses control and delete as well. If, even though I have disabled that, it is still conflicting. I don't really know, but something is definitely causing issues with that yet. Oh, uh, why? Why you know? Uh, oh, try this again. Uh, 
Okay, and... Lock that steering on. There we go. Try not to uh, destroy the crops we got planted on this field, and try not to uh, destroy the crops that are planted on that field there. And I'm probably just going to like make a nice uh, curving line here, I think, between these two fields. That's my uh, thought process here anyway. We'll try to stay a little ways away from the road here, but we'll definitely uh, increase the size of this here just a little bit. And, you know, if the hired worker doesn't... Uh, plant right to the edge. I'm probably not even going to worry about it. We'll just uh, let the hired worker, you know, get whatever the hired worker can. Oop. Not uh, crash into the cedar here. Okay. Cannot make that turn. Uh, back it up here then. Or one way to uh, make the turn here that I want to make. Okay, and you're probably done plant or not planting, not spreading lime. He is. Let's uh, switch you back around here. Again, like I said before, nice having the third tractor here to really keep the process moving a little bit more. Even though, you know, we do technically have one tractor just sitting idle there, uh, it is nice to have a tractor on the uh, tipper. go and uh let's see what's here what do we have for some comments here don't have the uh, comments here from last episode because i'm recording uh two episodes at once here i don't typically do that but i won't probably have the opportunity to uh, record or time to record this one here when it's actually uh needs to be recorded so recording uh two of them at a time so alexa don't have the comments here from last episode yet let me uh, hire a worker here go and back to Back to the 79.20 here. Uh, so anyway, our comments here from the uh, previous episode. Let's see what's here. Cowboy was asking how many challenges are left here. Uh, a Massey Ferguson is better than Case, in my opinion. A Massey Ferguson better than Case. That might be a little bit of a stretch, if you ask me. But okay. Uh, it is Aiko. And Aiko, by the way, I'm not even sure if I can remember all the tractors that are part of Aiko now. Uh, it's kind of more of a European branded tractor, but I uh, know yeah, Agco, the A, I believe, still stands for Alice Chalmers, even though there's no Alice Chalmers you know, even remotely around anymore that I know of. Alice Chalmers, as far as I know, doesn't exist other than the Agco brand tractor. Which actually, I don't know if there's actually, is there even an Agco, like actual Agco branded tractor around anymore? I don't believe they even have that anymore. Uh, but, you know, Challenger, Fent, Massey, Ferguson. Uh, let's see what's here. I believe Dutes is still separate yet as far as I know. I don't think they're part of Aiko. And then, of course, Kloss is separate as well. Oh, why did you... What? I uh, asked you to lock on steering. That did not look like the right direction. No, that is definitely not the right direction. Why is he doing that? Okay, th this is a... Yeah, this is a straight line. In fact, we're at 270 degrees. Why are you not locking on to 270? Oh, let's see what's here. Oh, let's change some options here. Let's change that to 100%. Uh, look backwards. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Uh, sensitivity. Sensitivity to adaptive steering with respect to ground speed. Let's just turn that back to regular. Throttle limiter... I don't quite know what this does, but we'll set it to 195 because that uh, seems to be a little more. Snap angle is 45. Yeah, snap angle is 45, so you should be snapping on here. I guess not. I guess we're doing this ourselves here. Okay. The, uh, no offense to the mod author here, but the, the vehicle control mod seems to be getting more and more useless. Uh, in fact, uh, speaking of the vehicle uh, control mod here, uh, unlike a keyboard steer, and maybe there is one, I'm not sure where it is, but 
Uh, keyboard steer actually had an XML file where you could go in and turn off uh, various features of vehicle control that you didn't want, or it was keyboard steer then. I didn't see one of those for vehicle control, so I don't know if it still has one. Maybe it's got it in a different spot. I'll have to do a little more looking. But I didn't see an XML file where you can just turn on and off features of vehicle add-on like you could with keyboard control. Again, uh, keyboard control mod became the vehicle control mod just because, you know, let's face it, the, the, there wasn't much left in the keyboard aspect of it anymore. It's pretty much uh, covered everything, so... I suspect that 180 there means something. I don't know what, though. Because, yeah, he's definitely trying to turn. Most useless. Most useless. Uh, let's see. 13 Dixie Fried was saying, I think I'll keep my eyesight. I still haven't fully recovered from seeing those ugly tractors on the uh, Michigan 17 <laughs> series there. Uh, yes, yeah, so you, can, you can thank my console for those. Uh, be warned, he does have more of them on his Glen Isla series. They are just as atrocious and awful as they were in 17. And worse. And, of course, now he's got a dealership to go with them. Which, as I mentioned, everyone will definitely be uh, discussing with the the uh, judges there as to what can be done about that. Most likely, uh, my console will be forced to uh, forfeit the competition as a result of uh, modifying his uh, dealership. Uh, let's see, William was saying speedy combine. Uh, oh, yeah, speaking of the combine, I should probably check. Oh, uh, he is moving yet. He's still harvesting. Wow, wait. He's still harvesting yet. Before, he was quitting left and right. In fact, you folks even seen it. Every time he'd uh, turn around there, he was quitting. Now he's still running? Wow. I'm impressed. Maybe the uh, talk of me replacing him <laughs> convinced him he better start working. Otherwise, he was getting replaced. Or she, or whoever's driving it. Uh, let's see, Ethan was saying finally you got a MF. Hmm, MF, that stands for massive failure, right? Uh, L. Leaf was saying is that the inspector mod up in the upper left corner? Yes, that would be... I don't remember if that's actually called the inspector mod or not, but it is an inspector mod. I don't remember if it's the inspector mod, but it is a inspector mod that is very similar to the inspector mod anyway. Okay, looks like we'll have to uh, finish this last little bit for the fertilizer spreader here. And we'll uh, bring him over to the field where we're currently plowing. Probably should actually should have the uh, lime spreader back over there again as well, because that little bit we're plowing uh, is going to need to be limed here as well, undoubtedly. Uh, we could probably do that after fertilizing, though. That should, uh, that should work just fine. Okay, there we go. Looks like, oh, let's not uh, crash into the hedge there. Looks like the harvester is still running yet. That's kind of uh, surprising and a good thing, I would argue. So, yeah, I wonder what the uh, problem was before, because actually I think he's now to the uh, little bit more hilly portion of the field here. Yeah, was that, that part over there is kind of flat. Now this part is actually starting to get hilly. That's good pretty good hill there actually here as well so why he wasn't able to make it on the flat spot but he's able to uh do it on the hilly spot oh boy uh-oh there we go and that's odd too because uh the previous field we were having troubles with Again, I forget which one. I'd like to say it was probably probably 18 there because that's the one that has a little bit more of a hill to it. Probably the one we're having trouble with. So, yeah, hilly field there. He was having trouble. Yeah, you can see we're going to need to put lime on all this here. Okay, let's uh, finish plowing this last little bit here. How generous of him to uh, stop for us.
There we go. Feel like I should invest in a pressure washer here at some point. Oh, this tractor's getting filthy. And not to mention the plow as well. Uh, by the way, my plan for that at some point here when we can afford it, I do want to purchase probably this uh, land down by the biogas plant here. We're looking at, what, 226000 for that piece? And that's probably going to become the home base, I'm thinking. That's what I'm uh, planning on anyway. Uh, the other option, I believe my console, I think he's uh, started up in this section of the map, I think, if I remember correctly. The other option would be to start up on this side here, field one. And we could uh, we could start a farm up there as well. But uh, seeing as how most of our land is down here at the moment, that's probably where I'm going to go. I don't know if there's really any other uh, good spots to uh, set up or not. Oh, and there's the uh, forestry area, by the way. Uh, it's too bad this isn't actually like two separate areas because this actually includes a field here as well. You know, it seems like this should be an area and then this should be an area, but that's not the way it is. This is all one section here. And uh, yeah, $454,000 for that piece. So not cheap, not cheap at all. And uh, once we get that field harvested there, we'll uh, get it replanted. At least at this point, it doesn't look like there's going to be any uh, particular hurt. Oh, you know what? I probably could have just left the chisel plow connected here. I could uh, start chisel plowing our... Oh, did you stop? Yeah, you stopped now, finally. Uh-huh. Not that I really want him to stop, mind you, but... Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, this time around he stopped. Interesting. Don't know what's causing that. That's kind of odd. And I'll uh, bet you we get in him here. Turn him on. Turn the header on. Yeah, we start rolling just fine. Like, yeah, I mean, what's what's the problem here? It's, we're rolling. Not like he's stuck on anything. Other than his own shadow. Anyway, let me, uh, yeah, we'll uh, re-grab the plow here, I guess, because, like I said, might as well start uh, plowing this field here. Work on getting this uh, field replanted as well. At least uh, cedar-wise there, that cedar seems to be working out pretty good for us. We'll have to see what's in the future. Maybe upgrading to a slightly larger one. Though, of course, we'll have to be careful with this map because a larger cedar eh, might actually not work so well. Oops. There we go. Oh, and you know what? I might actually want to put some fertilizer down first. Uh, if we can fertilize first, then plow, then I can get my second application. of fertilizer makes it a lot easier. I don't have to come back at a later time and do it. Just got to take care of the weeds at a later time. Oh, he's sure uh, missing a bit on these headlands here, isn't he? Weird. Let's see. For, uh, Massey Ferguson should be done. He is. Oh, he missed a little bit, though. Let's... Yeah, let's get that last little bit here a minute. And uh, as I was saying, definitely a plan on purchasing that field next to us here. Not very big. Given the price tag of it anyway. I'd say this field here is probably larger than that one is, but yeah, this one uh, here, unfortunately, is more... Well, actually, maybe not. 24 is long, isn't it? It is long. I don't know. 23 still looks like larger yet. Larger piece of land there. And it's actually uh, cheaper. I'm not sure what we'll get next for land, by the way. Yeah, speaking of land here, I don't know, 17, 15 maybe? Kind of work our way up the map. Or maybe we'll uh, like go up to like 2, 3, and 4 here. I'd like to say there's a bunch of these fields here you could uh, combine up as well, make them into one nice uh, larger field there. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what's here. We don't need a lime on this field at all, do we? Nope, we're good. And of course, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot of fertilizing here yet, but we'll uh, we'll do what we can. And unload the com. Oh, did he just? He just? No, he's still going yet. Like I say, it looks like he just stopped. But no, now he has. There he is. Okay. A little bit of a weird stop there, if you ask me. Just go ahead and uh, sell this load of sunflowers here. Oh, uh, let's see what's here. Nope, not that one. Sunflowers. Oh, not too bad of a price. That's sell area two. Oh, uh, let's see. We'll uh, read some additional comments here as well. Let's see. Jeff was saying they're looking to download that uh, blower. Can't find it. And it's not on your mod list. Also looking for the Silo King. Uh, the Silo King, I don't know if that is publicly available or not. That was converted over by one of the uh, people on the multiplayer servers. So, like I said, I'm not sure if that one's publicly available. Uh, also, again, because uh, a lot of the mods I get are from the multiplayer server, I don't have a link for the uh, Snowblower, the Frazy. Uh, that one, as far as I know, is publicly available. I'm just not entirely sure where it's publicly available at. Oh, didn't quite make that turn. Now, visually, it looks like we should, because there's actually nothing hitting, but uh, visually isn't quite... Yeah, come on, car. Hold your horses. We're coming through here. Uh, let's see. Disruptive Gaming was saying, course play doesn't work with mods yet. Uh, quite the contrary. Course play does work with mods. In fact, uh, can I open it? Yeah, see? There's course play. Course play works just fine with mods. Uh, there might be some, you know... Uh, problems with it, uh, you know, but these problems would most likely have to do with the mod itself, not with course play not working. And you know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set this to a uh, right mouse button so it actually will open. I'm actually surprised it opened there. Uh, so, oh, was it a few episodes back, everyone? I was going to try to use course play and it's like, well, crap, course play doesn't work. Uh, it turns out course play was working. It's because I had set it to uh, control and delete. Okay, yeah, wait for the car. Uh, that is why course play wasn't opening. So course play was working. I just cannot open the uh, panel to control it. Actually, you know what? I was always going to set uh, up a uh, course for unloading the combine here, wasn't I? Woo! Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is a little bit of a nasty turn right here into two and both of these fields here. A good uh, excavator and bulldozer would uh, take care of that problem there. Just uh, widen that right out. Uh, take the bulldozer right down that hedge there. Eliminate that. Excavator, if you have to, you know, pull it out, rip it out, destroy it. Oh, and you quit over here, didn't you? Uh-huh, uh-huh, you quit again. Like I said, not that I really want him quitting, but, uh... Oh, boy. Let me guess. You're stuck? No, nope, no, nope, you're moving just fine. Moving just fine, yep. Why are you not harvesting, though? Oh, there he goes. Like, uh, buddy, I was moving, what, three, four mile an hour there, and you can barely get... There's something with a hired worker with this combine. I don't know what it is, but... Something wrong with a hired worker and that combine. Okay, can hire the worker there. Let me get back into some Massey Ferguson here. We're going to stop him once he gets to the end of the field because he'll be all caught up with the harvester at this point. Okay, there we go. And then let's uh, maybe try this here. Not that, I don't know if we'll have to. Yeah, we'll probably have to unload the combine at least one more time here yet, I would assume. Let's see if we can uh, create a quick and dirty course play course. 
And by uh, quick and dirty, I do mean very quick and dirty. So we're going to set you to combine unload mode. We're going to start. We're going to stop. We're going to drive course. And you folks say creating course play courses to unload combines is hard. I mean, come on now. Start, stop, drive course. Done. Uh, well, and, and set them to combi unload mode first, of course. Very important. Uh, the key with this, what I just did here, is course play should unload the combine. Course play just will not be able to unload itself, which in this case, I don't really need him to unload himself. He's not going to fill up again, not given the size of this field, so... Uh, anyway, on that note, everyone, I think with that, we're going to wrap up this episode here. I'm going to finish uh, harvesting the sunflowers here. Hopefully, we get enough money off of that. Uh, oh, we didn't really make that much off those sunflowers, did we? Seems like we should have made more than that. I sell, did I sell the wrong one? Hmm. Yes, I did sell the wrong one, didn't I? That's why we didn't make as much. Oops. That should have been sell area two. Oh, well, everyone's probably screaming at me. Hey, sell area two, you said. And I think we sold it sell area one. Oh, well. Lost a little bit of money there. Yeah, so we might not have enough to uh, purchase this field on 24. Is was 122. Yeah, it'll be close. It'll be close. And I'll have to see if we got some more uh, forester areas we can uh, knock down here as well. I think that was about it. There might be a section up here, it looks like. But, again, that doesn't really benefit us a whole lot necessarily. So, yeah, we'll have to look into it. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, everyone, we're going to wrap it up. Comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them uh, below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Twitch as well. And, oh, don't forget to check out uh, Thomas McConsell's channel there. Uh, again, hazmat uh, suits uh, would be recommended there. Uh, use extreme caution, all that uh, good stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and till next time.